Martin, against Sunderland, the red card seemed to change the game. Against Spurs, the fluky goal seemed to change the game and obviously disappointing results, both of them at home. What are your thoughts on that? I feel if you score goals, there's no problem because you can make a mistake even as a goalkeeper. But if you don't score, and we didn't score since Bayerus uh, was probably injured and he was injured in that same match against Sunderland. Before that, we were uh, scoring goals for fun, and he was most of the time he was involved. You know, we should have Southampton, uh, Arsenal, way, uh, Norwich, West Bromwich. So, but of course, it's not only about one player. He is a player from midfield who sees a pass, who's creative, and we try to do something with other players like Berbatov and uh, Giorgio against Chelsea. And then last uh, 50 minutes, we were good with Berbatov in that position, but we certainly missed uh, Brian. But we've got the quality to come up with something and uh, everything changed in two weeks because before that we were sort of uh, surprised in the league. We scored a lot of goals. Uh, we conceded goals as well because that is a worry. Uh, the only thing is if we don't score and they score the goal, we have to uh, uh, repair the damage. We have to play in their half and sometimes we look a bit vulnerable if that happens because we are... Yeah, we are not uh, probably the most mobile team, so we have to defend well, like we did against Chelsea, and then uh, try to use our quality up front, and uh, that is the style. It's a good style, but unfortunately not. it's not always an ideal style, so uh, we work on it, we try to uh, build a, a, a fantastic team, and I thought uh, last year, after Christmas, we played some wonderful football, and even this year, you know, at the start, we played some good football. But certain players were there, of course, after the departures of the top scorer and Dembele and Bayer was injured. Uh, things changed, but we have to gel together and uh, you can't be better uh, overnight or, uh, or in two weeks. So we have to pick ourselves up and we need points. But the bad news about Brian is obviously he's now missing until at least the new year yeah, for you, which is, well. which is a big blow. As you know, we were very happy last year, Saturday, or last week, Saturday, to tell everyone that uh, Bayer was back on Monday. And in the same uh, training session, he was injured again, and we had to send him to Germany for a second opinion. And now uh, he's out for four or five weeks, so hopefully he will be back. The same hamstring problem? The same hamstring, yeah. Uh, but we know the structure now, we know the, the reason of that problem, so hopefully we can manage that, and hopefully he will be back before the FA Cup match. And good news in terms of Alex, Catherine and Kletch, who is back here and Richardson's back and training and Breda, of course, is back from suspension. So you have options again. I've got options. I had options before, but in hindsight, you could say that uh, we missed them. But before that, you don't know, you know, because Philip Sandals, of course, came in last year and was OK. Now you can only, in hindsight, you can make a conclusion that we miss Brad. But why, why, why shouldn't you miss him? You know, he's my captain. He played all the games and hopefully he will play uh, a lot of games again, you know, in the future. You gave the armband to Dimitar Berbatov, who seemed to play in a much deeper role in the last couple of games, especially. Uh, are you pleased with him as a leader, pleased with him as a, a captain? Uh, I said that uh, his first match we lost against Stoke, then mm. I said hopefully the players will, won't let you down because, you know, it will be awful if you lose your matches as a captain, you know, because they're all proud. And uh, we had a good result against uh, Chelsea, nil-nil, but it was only one point. So, uh, of course, where it comes back now. But I think I was happy with Berbatov because we needed another creative player. And if uh, Bayer Ruiz is not there, we need something in midfield, you know, to see a pass, to, to link up the play. And I thought that he could do it, that job. But of course, Berbatov is number nine. How important now is Mladen to the to the lineup, to the setup, and Hugo coming in? Because obviously, with we've been without goals now for yeah. for three games. No, yeah, Mladen has to come up with the goods, and uh, the same applies for Rodriguez. If they score goals, I'm happy with them. Mm -hmm. Mladen scored four goals. He had his chance against Stoke, difficult game away from home. Uh, I rested him against Chelsea, and Hugo played on the left. It's not his favourite position, of course, but Kieran was not there, and Kaka was not there. So sometimes you have to find a solution, and I thought he could be the solution there. Kieran Fire played, uh, um, he, he did okay, but of course he didn't play for, for months, he play, only played one game. Stephen Kelly came on, only played one game, so that is a bit of a problem, that we lack a bit of rhythm in certain areas, and hopefully, because it's only a matter of picking up the points and get back to winning ways again. And what about Sasha? Obviously Stephen Kelly came on for him, but you're hoping he'll be back in training by the weekend? 
I think it was disappointing for Stephen Kelly, but Sasha went from strength uh, mm. to strength, and he was, you know, he was, uh, he played ever so well. He mm. was injured. Uh, he will join us hopefully on Saturday, uh, and then we have to make a decision: either Stephen Kelly or Sasha Rita. And finally, Newcastle a fairly inconsistent start, but coming to the cottage on the back of a, a three 0 victory, it's going to be tough on Monday evening. We know the strength. We had a, we scored five goals in the second half last year, but that was. Uh, they, they uh, missed a few players, they went to the African Nations Cup. Uh, Chise, he scored goals for fun last year, now he plays more off the right, from the right. And then Baba, of course, is, uh, is, a, is a goal scorer, so that is something we have to keep an eye on. We wish you luck. Okay, thank you.